kids, it's your buddy here again. That's right, your friend, Youth Pastor Jack Childenhoff, for more sing-along songs for Jesus. Come on, you know the words. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. That's right, kids. Jesus loves you the way you are, even if you're one of those funny-looking minority children. God loved you so much, He loved you even before you were born. That's how much He loves you. Jesus loves the little zygotes, all the zygotes of the world. Jesus loves them till they're born, then abandons them forlorn. Jesus loves the little zygotes of the world. That's right, kids. Every unformed, fertilized cell is sacred to God and should be protected from evil, unfit mothers who want to kill them. Work hard on saving the unborn. After they're born, though, don't bother making sure they have a better life. They deserve it for being a horrible and disgusting sinner. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Jesus gives them heart defects, measles, mumps, and ringworm necks. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Make sure not to vaccinate, folks. Those elitist scientists are plotting to remove your God-given right to receive measles, which is, has a 0.3% mortality rate in America and a 28% mortality rate in the undeveloped world, which shows that God loves America better. And mumps, which can cause testicular atrophy at a rate of 30% and sometimes sterility in men, and a 27% rate in abortions. Remember, God can abort as many kids as he wants, but we can't. Remember to vote Republican. Jesus lets their parents beat them, bruise their bodies black and blue. Jesus gives them birth defects, scurvy, ticks, and palate cleft. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Daddy beating you is God's way of making sure that if you're a boy, you can take pain like a man so you won't grow up to be a fag. No, don't hit me, Daddy. <laughs> and if you're a girl, it's a way to make sure that you will be submissive to your husband because that's what God loves. Jesus gives the children acne, AIDS and leprosy galore. Germs and worms of every kind, things to make the children blind, but he cannot give them smallpox anymore. Science and the non-believers knock the pox right off the earth. Jesus still gives gifts to kids, broken nose and burned eyelids, but he cannot give them smallpox anymore. That's right, kids. The elitist scientist went and messed up God's holy and divine plan by making a vaccine to eradicate the disease that killed two-fifths of all the children and 95% of the population of North America. Those sinners, they should have just prayed for God's will to be done like he was going to do anyway. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Praise Him. See you next time, kids. Make sure to read your Bible and know God's Word. Also, listen to everything your pastor tells you and completely believe it with all your heart. Otherwise, you're going to hell.